In this video, you'll see how to securely access Windows instances using Remote Desktop Protocol, or RDP, and AWS Systems Manager Session Manager. With Session Manager, you can improve the security of your remote instances, limit their surface of attack, and access instances without enabling the RDP port. For context, let's start by reviewing the typical method of connecting to a remote Windows instance using RDP. From the AWS Management Console, Open the Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud, or Amazon EC2, dashboard. Next, go to the Running Instances screen to see a list of instances you have access to. In this example, we have configured one Windows instance. Right-click the instance, and then choose the option to Connect. Let's download the RDP shortcut file and sign into this instance using the default administrator credentials. The RDP session to this instance has now been established. Let's open Windows PowerShell to confirm our credentials. As you can see, we are connected as the administrator. Now that we've seen the typical method of connecting to a remote Windows instance using RDP, let's end the connection and go back to the EC2 dashboard. This instance's configuration contains some potential security concerns. For example, any user with a valid account on the instance and access to the AWS console can sign in using this method. In addition, the RDP port must be open to establish the RDP session, which could expose the instance to outside attacks that leverage potential vulnerabilities in the RDP protocol. Now, let's learn about a more secure method of connecting to an instance. Instead of connecting with RDP, you can use Session Manager. Session Manager is a fully managed AWS Systems Manager capability that provides secure and auditable instance management without the need to open inbound ports, maintain bastion hosts, or manage secure shell or SSH keys. To see how to use it, let's close out of this dialog box and return to the instance configuration. First, we're going to open the security groups for this instance and edit the inbound rules. Remove the rule that allows inbound connections using the RDP protocol. Now save the change and navigate back to the Instances screen. Let's confirm that we can no longer use RDP to connect to the instance. As expected, the warning indicates that we cannot connect to this instance using a standalone RDP connection. Now let's see how to use the Session Manager port forwarding feature to securely connect to the instance. As a prerequisite for port forwarding, Let's verify that this instance has an IAM role associated with it that allows it to be managed by AWS Systems Manager Agent, or SSM Agent. This role will provide the necessary permissions. Now let's navigate to AWS Systems Manager and open Session Manager. Let's start a console session to this instance. Next, execute the commands to create a new standard user account called sample user on the instance. Now assign this user to the remote desktop users group so they can connect using RDP. Terminate the session. Next, let's navigate to IAM and review the AWS user account we have set up. Notice that a custom inline policy has been attached directly to this user. Let's select the Edit Policy button and take a look at the JSON text for this policy. Here you can see the necessary permissions needed to use port forwarding to connect to this instance in Session Manager. The highlighted line allows the user to connect to the instance. This line allows the user to call the AWS Start Port Forwarding Session document in Session Manager. Let's quickly review the rest of the permissions in this custom policy. Before the user can use the AWS CLI to start and end sessions that connect to managed instances, you must first install the Session Manager plugin on your local machine. This documentation on the AWS website provides instructions on how to do that for different operating systems. For this example, let's use PowerShell to create a port forwarding session, and then use the session to connect to the instance via RDP. First, verify that the AWS CLI has been installed. In this case, we have already configured the AWS CLI with the credentials of the user we saw earlier in IAM. 
Next, run this command to verify that the Session Manager plugin has also been installed. This is the command that starts the session. Notice that it specifies the instance as the target, and that we will run the start port forwarding session document. The command also specifies that we will associate the default RDP port of the instance to a local port number we define. Let's run the command. Using the remote desktop connection application in Windows, let's connect to this instance. For the computer, specify the local host with the port defined in the start session command. To connect, use the credentials for the user account on the Windows instance. We have successfully used port forwarding to tunnel into the instance running on AWS, without actually having the RDP port enabled. This provides a much more secure method of allowing your users access to instances. Let's confirm our credentials using PowerShell. As you can see, we are connected as the user account we created on the instance. When you are done with the connection, simply press Ctrl-C to end the session. You've just seen how to securely access Windows instances using RDP and AWS Systems Manager Session Manager. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn to try.